What's up guys, welcome back. In the last video, we put a turbo on our Nitro RC car, the world's smallest turbo on our Nitro RC car. If you missed that video, make sure to go and check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. It was pretty cool. But today is the highly anticipated run video. We're gonna fire this thing up here in a second, see if we can't get it to rip. And real quick, for all of those asking for the links in the description for the parts, there is no links, guys. I, I told you in the last video, this turbo kit is 100% custom. Most of this stuff I just had laying around from my real project car. And the only thing that you could, you know, find online simply is the turbo. I believe the part number is TK10R. That's the name of the turbo. So if you just Google TK10R, you should be able to find the turbo. But all the other stuff, guys, it's just like standard silicone hose that I use for the blow-off valve and wastegate and vacuum lines and stuff like that. So I just pieced it together in my mind and figured it out. You can't really order all of this stuff specifically for the Nitro RC car. But check it out, look, big turbo, little turbo, little turbo, big turbo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We're not gonna waste any time today, boys. We're gonna get straight into it. We'll put a fresh glow plug in it, because if you guys didn't watch the video when we first drove this thing, That glow plug is burnt up and I'm not really sure if the car is running lean or rich. Everyone I ask, it's like a 50-50 split. I have people swearing that the car is running rich and then I have other people swearing that the car is lean. So it's like, I've asked 10 people, 10 experienced people, their opinion. No one seems to know 100% what's going on with it. So we're just gonna put a new glow plug in this unit. Hopefully we can get it to run long enough to test out the new turbo kit. Add some fuel. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous guys. This, is, this feels very similar to a first startup on a new build. So uh, here we go, cross your fingers, let's hope for the best. Oh. Just fired up, but then it doesn't say running. Glow plug works. So clearly, maybe, I don't know, man. I just don't know. That's the problem. Little turbo spinning, boys. Oh, and she died. Oh, man. Also, I don't know if you guys heard that, but the transmission seems like we probably burnt it out from the last time we ran the car because it still wasn't shifting there. That sounded a little boggy if I'm not mistaken. So let's take a little more fuel out of it. At least we got it to run. That's sick. Let's go, will she fire right back up? Will she fire right back up for me?
Oh no, dude. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Transmission don't work. She dies on us. I do see a decent little, you know, train of smoke coming out of the up pipe there. So I think we have enough fuel. We might have too much fuel. Is it, is it getting flooded? It doesn't sound as high pitch as it did before. So let's take a little more fuel out of it and see if it, uh, if it peps up any. But dang it. You see like right now I hear bubbling. It's like sizzling. Maybe it does have too much fuel and that's what I'm hearing. So it's just dying out. Let's take out some more fuel. Let's lean this thing up. I did have a dude tell me that it's running hella rich. Maybe that's the issue. Who knows guys. That seems faster. Yeah, that is faster. Still not shifting, so we for sure burnt out the transmission or the clutch or whatever. I don't know how these things work. Like right there, normally would have shifted into second. Turbo though, boys. That thing is screaming. I wish it would shift into second, man. That stinks. Oh, look at the little turbo though, dude. Dang, if it would just shift, it'd be running real good right now. I think Buddy was right. It might have been running too rich. Like before, it wouldn't just sit there like that. Dang, oh no, she died on us. Dang it, dude, freaking walk of shame. At least we got it running, because in the beginning of this video, guys, I did not think that, uh, I didn't think that we were gonna be able to get it running, because this thing just gives me, it makes me work for it. It just makes me work for it. It might be just that it's an HSP, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna, go out and say that because i also have no idea what i'm doing as far as tuning this thing goes but some dude in the comments in my last video i think said yo it's just an hsp so don't expect it to run flawlessly but shit boys there you go turbo kit on the nitro car and it's running i don't know if you could tell on camera but it's dope because you can see the compressor wheel spinning when the car is running and that's super super cool transmission doesn't shift in the second so that sucks maybe i could just adjust it but again i bro i'm not familiar with these things guys i just recently got into the hobby of rc and the majority of my cars are electric this is my only nitro car my first ever nitro car so i don't really know or i don't understand fully yet how to read the car like i don't know if it's running too lean or too rich i don't know if i tighten or loosen the screw here in the transmission if it you know, will help engage second gear or get further away. So I don't want to, you know, wrench on this thing too much and then get all the specs, you know, super far out from where they're at. Uh, I just, I just need someone, preferably a knowledgeable Nitro RC person to come through and, uh, and help me out. But yeah, at least we got it to run. That is a huge step in the right direction. And the turbo kit is still on there. Nothing's falling off. It's clearly feeding fuel to the engine because we are running it for you know decent periods of time 
So that tells me that the little pressure fitting that we put in the up pipe is working. It's feeding exhaust pressure into the tank, pressurizing our tank, which is allowing the RC car, you know, to continue running, obviously. But this thing definitely needs a tune up, guys. But overall, it's pretty sick. We got the turboed Nitro RC car to run. Is it running 100%? No, far from it. It definitely needs, the car itself just needs a tune up, even if it didn't have the turbo on it. Is the turbo spooling up and making more power? I don't think so, guys. I think it just looks cool. It's not negatively affecting anything. You know, it's just on there. The car is still getting all the air it needs and doing everything it needs to do. The turbo kit just looks super cool. And the compressor wheel spools up. You know, even at idle, you could see the compressor wheels just spinning, which is super, super rad. So, yeah, I think I'm going to throw the GoPro on the car, give you guys the view you really want, and then see if we can't fire this thing up again and do a couple more rips. that guys is that a pretty cool view so what's happening now maybe some of you nitro experts first of all the car is really hot like I'm holding the bottom of it it's burning up secondly when I go full throttle kind of sounds like it's bogging out too much fuel I don't know see that's the problem I'm pretty sure if the car bogs out it's too much fuel if it like gets high pitched and cuts out it's uh running lean right i don't know let's see if we can't fire this thing back up one more time for you guys and finish this tank of fuel that we got in it do a couple more rips come on baby just one more solid rip for me out and died on us again boys listen listen I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's sizzling I don't know if that's a normal nitro RC thing but I highly doubt it like sizzling means extremely hot and I know that these things aren't supposed to be getting extremely hot but again I'm a novice and I'm not really sure which way to go it seemed to be running better as I leaned it out. 
But like I said earlier, that kind of bogging out and dying, it's almost as if it's getting too much fuel. So maybe it's still too rich. I'm not sure. Let's pull the plug out. Remember the last time we ran a full tank through this thing, the bottom of the plug was black. Now, it's not black. So maybe we were running too rich because it appears the, the glow plug that is appears to be in a little bit better condition from this tank of fuel compared to you know the last tank of fuel we ran through it and the only difference is I've been leaning it out and like I said it still had plenty of smoke coming out of the up pipe so I think it still has enough fuel it started to get it's like super hot though it really is and then the transmission I don't know if we could just adjust the transmission through this little adjuster hole that we have up here on the top and then get it to start engaging or if I completely burnt the little clutch out or however that deal works not sure boys I need an expert to come over and help me out get the transmission dialed because I'm telling you this thing is way more fun when it's actually shifting the way it's supposed to because you know it hits second gear and, and then it really takes off that first gear there we were limited I don't know we were probably going like 25 miles an hour max but when it shifts into second is when it really starts picking up speed. So that's a bummer. That needs some work. Also, the car just overall needs a little tune-up. But the turbo kit's on there. Nothing fell off. That's a huge plus because I was worried, like I said earlier, that one of these couplers were just going to slip off. They were very tight to get on. There's very little real estate on the actual turbo to grab the coupler to. So with the vibrations of the engine, you know, one of my worries was that this thing was just going to fall apart. But... It did good. We even jumped that little man cover in the street there. The whole thing got in the air, landed back on the street, and nothing fell off. So that's sick. Did the turbo make the RC car any faster? Unfortunately, no, guys. I don't think it made the car any faster, but it looks cool as hell. And if you ask me, that's worth the install in itself because it's very rare that you see a Nitro RC car with a turbo kit on it. So even though it didn't make it faster, it still looks cool as hell. And that's a win for me. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I need all of the Nitro RC car experts to drop a comment down below. Let me know if you think I'm running too rich, too lean. How do I fix the second gear transmission shift? Drop a comment down below because I'm not gonna run this thing again until you know I have a better idea of how to get it to run better. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Be easy.